God losing a, a person that has deliberately chosen the devil is not a loss. It's not a loss. Because he presented to you an opportunity to choose him. But you chose the devil. And you chose the way of the devil. By the way, as I, let me read for you a verse. There are, there's a, uh, there are people, as we speak, that God has already given up on. Romans 1, 24. And they, they are free to make a decision and choose Jesus. Can I read for you? Now, can we begin from um, verse 21? Romans chapter 1 and verse 21. I read under the influence of the Holy Spirit. For although they knew God. Hello? For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Verse 22. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools. Verse 23. And they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for, for images made to look like mortal man, and birds and animals and reptiles. Verse 24. Therefore, God gave them offer. He gave them offer in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. Verse 25. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. 26. Because of this, say because of this, God gave them offer to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with one other men and received in themselves the due banality of their perfection. Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God. Now, can we read? Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them offer to be depraved to a depraved mind to do what ought not to be done. So there are things that they are, which are not supposed to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greedy, and depravity. They are full of, they are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossips, slanderers, God haters, insolent, arrogant, and postful. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They are senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Although they know God is righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do these things, but also approve of those who practice them. Upon your Malaysia. Although they know God is righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death. No, they not only continue to do these things. They There is nothing that God hates more than him investing in giving you knowledge. But you make a decision to act contrary to the available divine knowledge. That saddens God. Am I talking to you? Let's take care of our young people. 
Don't be deceived. I can tell you plainly. There is too much going on in our society. Women marrying women. Men marrying men. Can I shock you? I am not God. But I know much about him. Some people are deceiving them. That somehow they may get to heaven. It is not possible. I make a call. Let people change. Because I have a desire that my brothers and sisters can go to heaven. I am not preaching that people don't end up somewhere. I am preaching because I have a conviction that we have a destiny. I have a conviction we have a destiny. And rather than keeping you for a destiny that you are not going to benefit, be a beneficiary, I rather tell you what it takes for you to become a beneficiary. Listen. People who do things that God does not approve, regardless of how you value them, regardless at, of how you look at them, God's righteous decree is that those people should die. It's a righteous decree. That's the Bible says. Righteous decree. A decree is a law that cannot be changed. You cannot alter. You cannot change it. It's a, a righteous decree that they should die. Now the problem with the, that God has with these people is that they know it, but they continue doing it. So what is God saying? If you know it, don't continue doing it. That's what God is saying. And they do not only continue doing it, but they want to make laws. Every time our president go to America, go to UK, and they go on CNN, the question they are asked every time, which the Americans think is very important. And Americans, I'm telling you, Americans, I am telling you, majority of you, if you don't change, you're going to have Americans and those white, majority of these black people who, who, who use their mind are going to heaven, except our young generation, which thinks that they must think like the whites to become better. Think like your grandmother if you want to go to heaven. Our society doesn't have a problem. We believe in creation. I mean, we believe in God, what God created. You know, we must be very careful on what our children are learning. Our children are being told that types of families, at a family used to be father, mother, and children. Nowadays, they are being told that there are other families where there is father, father, child. Wrong. It's a lie. It is a lie. Even if I die today, play the clip until Jesus comes. It is a deception. Mother, mother, child. Huh? Where? 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 That has no place in the formula of the creator. I so you must be very careful. That's why when some of us must come up with schools, and when the government is taking us to a wrong direction, we must bring sanity. We must take it to the right direction. You can't cheat our children. If you have children at home, tell them the truth. We don't have a family of mother, mother, child. Never. We don't have... There are people who cannot come to this church like, eh, I don't preach what I am supposed to preach. Mm -mm. They can be a community. They can come up with their church. They can come up with their pastor. But that doesn't change destiny. It doesn't change destiny. Hallelujah. 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 You think God 
did not make a proper design. If you think young people that are here, honestly, if you need a child and you're married to a fellow man, don't go for a wife or for a child. Continue from that background until you produce one. I call it the background. It's background. You continue on that background and produce one. When God created a woman with more body parts than a man, he was not insane. A woman have more things. When you study even in your biology, they are created with advanced body to carry babies and to breastfeed. Now men are walking in Nairobi. Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi. Always is foolishness. Sometimes I, I realized we subject our young children and we entrust them in wrong hands. And then while they are young, the devil takes advantage of wrong characters and plants into their life wrong things. It is not their wish. But I'm telling you, I know it's not your wish, but you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. It's not your wish. But if a mistake occurs, you don't dwell in the mistake. You ask God. He can work it for you. So young, young, young men are putting now. They work like this. They have injected themselves. Now they have breasts. But I don't know how much you can squeeze those breasts to produce milk. Even if you put their artificial milk, you must understand that God created a woman naturally with milk. And, and you see young men, maybe one day I find Pastor Bakari, he has injected himself. He now has big buttocks and a big chest. And he's now wearing a, and, and he's walking like this. <laughs> and he's trying to change his voice. I, I, I am Kali, Alice Bakari, Alice. Ah, ah, ah. Why are you screening your opportunity? I mean, you are screwing your opportunity that God gave you just for the devil. I'm asking you, just for the devil. If the devil wants to, if truly the devil is God, why must he interfere with my father's creation? Why can't he make his own? It is not about our brothers and sisters who are gay. It is about our God and the devil. Therefore, we must repossess the planet and sanitize it for Jesus. Some people in Nairobi with a partner. All humans must be respected. Irrespective of how inhuman they behave. Hello? We respect human beings, but not any human beings. As a church, we respect 